Good evening and welcome to my home. Let's start out with a word of prayer. Father God, I just thank you for this time together. We thank you for your mercy and your grace and your love that covers everything that is in us and fills us and flows out from us to others. I'm just thankful for this word tonight. Father, give fresh revelation in the hearts of everyone that is listening. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, I have um, prepared a message for you tonight, and it is called Our Provider. You know, I started talking about the character of God, and, and God is a provider. Um, there's many instances in the Bible where supernatural provision came. It could um, come in the form of a raven. Remember, uh, God sent ravens to feed um, Elijah when he was hiding in the caves. And so, and some, sometimes it'll come through other people. Sometimes it'll just be there. It'll be supernatural and you'll know that God had a hand in it. But anyway, it comes. We know that everything good comes from the hand of God. Amen. The scripture I have for you today is, comes from the book of Philippians chapter four, verse 19. And this is a passion translation. I am convinced that my God will fully satisfy every need you have. For I have seen the abundant riches of glory revealed to me through Jesus Christ. Amen. And that is the whole key, through Jesus Christ. Well, let's talk a little bit about the provision through Jesus Christ. We know that one of the names of Jesus is Jehovah Jireh. And that uh, means in, in uh, Greek and in Hebrew that God, the Lord God, will provide. It's not that he might provide or he may provide, but that he will provide. You know, God has already made provision for our life. We just need to learn how to receive it, how to step in it and walk in it. But the greatest provision that God has given us is the gift of his son, Jesus. Through his crucifixion, death, burial, and resurrection, we have the most important thing that God could have ever given us. We have been given eternal life. We have been brought into the family of God. You may be watching this tonight and thinking, I, you know, there's so much I don't have. You know, I don't have this. There's things I would like to have that I don't. But let me tell you, if you have Jesus living in your heart, he is truly all that you need. Everything else will flow through your relationship with Jesus. Amen. I just want to encourage you as I was studying this over and over again, I just came back to the fact that the most important provision that God gave us was Jesus. The most important. And, you know, we all need provision for our life. We need um food and we need shelter, we need clothing, we need uh, jobs, we need a way to may have income, um, we need godly relationships around us, we need people of wisdom to speak into our life and to um, give us clarity. Now there's so many needs that we have, but every single one of them is met through Jesus. When we take the time to sit in his presence and to not just spill your needs out to him, because he already knows what you need before you even open your mouth, but you just sit, worship him, and listen for his voice, for him to tell you where the provision is. You know, the provision you may be looking for is not the way that God wants to bring it to you. 
There are many different ways and many different avenues. And just because God did uh, something one way doesn't mean he'll do it that way again. You know, he loves to use other people to bless those that that have needs. That's why he's given us his compassion and his desire. When we see someone who's hurting and we see someone who is in lack, we have a desire to reach out and to help them. But when we connect with him, he will tell us how to do it and what to do. You know, sometimes you can do too much. You can actually hurt that person more than you can help them. But be assured that Jehovah Jireh, God will provide. He has provided. He will continue to provide for the rest of our days. What we need and a lot of times what we want. You know, everything we want may not line up with God's will for our life. You know, sometimes we see other things and and we think, oh, that'd be wonderful. I'd just be happy if I had that. Well, you know, you may get that, and then are you going to be happy? Our joy can only come from the Lord, our joy and our happiness. It can't come from material things. It can't come from relationships. No one can make you happy but God. When God lives and dwells in your heart and when you've yielded your life to Him, then things around you are going to change. Relationships are going to change. Amen? It's a very simple word tonight, but I just want to encourage you, if you have not received Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life, that's the biggest provision that God has made for you. Amen? It's very simple to receive him. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe that he was raised, that God raised him from the dead, then you can be, you will be saved. You know, our sins sometimes is what we, our past is what we believe keeps us from God. But you know, God knows all about your past. He's not bothered by it. He longs to embrace you. It's not, the past is not something that we need to continually repent of. When we repent once and say, God, please uh, forgive my sins. And, you know, his love just covers us. And he, the sins are removed from us as far as the east is from the west, the word says. So they're not there anymore. When we keep bringing them back up to God, God says, what sin? I don't see that anymore. That was past. Turn your face forward and don't look back anymore. Those sins are forgiven. That is when we can walk the path that God has prepared for us. So tonight, the most important thing I can encourage you, if you have not asked Jesus in your heart, please do that. Begin receiving the provision that God provided for you through a great sacrifice, the death, burial, and resurrection of his son. Amen. Father God, I just thank you for this time together. I thank you, Father, that each one watching, that you are speaking to their hearts, that you are giving them hope and you are giving them peace tonight, that if they have not received you, they are reaching out to you right now. Because as these words came forth, you soften their heart and they realize that they need you more than they need anything else. Once they have you, Everything else is going to come to pass. I thank you, Father, for that assurance that you give us in your word. And Father, I thank you and I stand with my brothers and sisters in declaring that you have provided for every need that they have in their life and that Holy Spirit is going to direct them to the avenue that they will be able to receive the answer to their need. You've already done it. We believe it, we receive it by faith, and we're going to walk in the fullness of everything you have for us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. I hope you have a blessed, wonderful, 
awesome week in the Lord. He is moving and doing things. Sometimes we just need to still ourselves so that we can listen. We want to participate in what He is doing in the earth today. If you ask Him and listen, He's going to show you and direct you. Have a blessed night. I look forward to being with you next week. Good night.